Hey everyone. Welcome to Mark's message, Discovering Jesus Together. I'm Pete, and today, we have an awesome guest who's here to help us understand one of the coolest stories ever told, the Gospel of Mark. Welcome Lizzie. Now, some of you might be wondering, what's the Gospel of Mark, and why should I care? Well, sit tight, because we're going to break it down in a fun and easy way. I've brought in an expert who's going to make this really simple, even for the little ones tuning in. Say hello to our guest. Hey! I'm super excited to talk about Mark's Gospel today. It's going to be a great conversation. So, let's start at the beginning. What is the Gospel of Mark, and why did Mark write it? Great question! So, the Gospel of Mark is a book in the Bible that tells the story of Jesus, his life, his teachings, his miracles, and, most importantly, how he came to save everyone. Mark wrote this down to share with people who didn't know much about Jesus yet. It's the shortest of the four Gospels, so it gets straight to the point, like a fast-paced action movie. Ooh, I like action movies. So, Jesus' life was like an action-packed story. Exactly. Mark doesn't waste any time. He jumps right into the exciting parts. Jesus doesn't just sit around and talk all the time. He's out there healing people, calming storms, casting out bad spirits, and teaching people how to live a life full of love and kindness. Okay, but there are other Gospels too, right? What makes Mark's different? Good point. There are four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. What's special about Mark is that it was probably the first one written, and it's the simplest. Mark focuses more on what Jesus does than on what he says. It's all about action. You know how sometimes superheroes don't talk much but save the day with their actions? That's kind of like what Mark is doing with Jesus. He's showing us that Jesus is a superhero who came to rescue us, and he does that by healing, forgiving, and even defeating death. That sounds awesome. So, if I want to know what Jesus did more than what he said, I should read Mark. Exactly. And here's another cool thing. Mark doesn't tell us all the details about where Jesus was born or his early life like the other Gospels do. He jumps right into Jesus starting his mission. It's like we start the story when the action begins. So, what are some of the big moments in Mark? What happens? There are lots of amazing moments. Let's start with Jesus getting baptized. That's the first big thing that happens. Jesus goes to John the Baptist, who's this guy who's telling everyone to turn their lives around and be better people. Jesus gets baptized by John, and then, get this, the sky opens up, and a voice from heaven says, You are my son, whom I love, with you I am well pleased. Whoa. So right away, we know Jesus is special. Exactly. And after that, Jesus starts doing amazing things. One time, he's on a boat with his friends, and this huge storm hits. His friends are super scared, but Jesus just tells the storm to stop, and it does. The wind and waves listen to him like he's their boss. That's crazy. I bet his friends were amazed. They were. And Mark keeps showing us that Jesus has power over everything, storms, sickness, even death. He heals people who can't walk, people who are blind, and he even brings a little girl back to life. Wow, Jesus really was a superhero. But I know the story doesn't end there. What about the end of Mark? Right, so the biggest part of Mark's gospel is about how Jesus came to save everyone. He tells his friends that he's going to die, but that it's all part of God's plan. People didn't really understand at the time. But what happens is, Jesus gets arrested and put on trial even though he didn't do anything wrong. He's sentenced to die on a cross. That's so sad. Why did that have to happen? It's sad, but it's also amazing because Jesus knew that by dying, he would take away all the bad things people have ever done, so that everyone could have a chance to be close to God. And the best part, three days after he dies, he comes back to life. He beats death. Wait, he comes back to life. 
Yep. Mark's gospel ends with Jesus rising from the dead. Some women who were his followers go to visit his tomb, but when they get there, it's empty. An angel tells them, he's not here, he has risen. It's the ultimate victory. Jesus is alive, and that means he's still with us, helping us and guiding us. That's incredible. So, what's the big lesson from Mark? What should kids, and everyone, take away from this? Great question. The big thing Mark wants us to know is that Jesus is the Son of God, and he came to rescue us. He's not just some regular person, he's powerful, loving, and always ready to help. And even though life can be tough, just like it was tough for Jesus, he shows us that love wins in the end. Love wins. I like that. So, Mark's Gospel is all about showing us that Jesus is a hero who came to save us, and we can trust him to help us no matter what. Exactly. And Mark makes it easy for us to understand that Jesus is someone we can follow. He's not just a teacher, he's our guide, our protector, and our friend. Well, that wraps up today's episode of Mark's message, Discovering Jesus Together. I hope everyone learned something awesome about the Gospel of Mark today. I know I did. Thanks so much to our guest for breaking it all down in such a cool way. It was my pleasure. Remember, kids, if you want to know more about Jesus' life and all the amazing things he did, Mark's Gospel is a great place to start. Alright, until next time, keep learning, keep loving, and remember, with Jesus, love always wins. <laughs>